President of the Council of Ministers of the Italian Republic. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful to President Obama for his strong leadership in mobilizing uh, further support to United Nations peacekeeping requirements, as well as all the partners which have contributed to keep the issue high on the agenda. As the first Blue Helmet contributor among uh, Western countries, Italy has a considerable experience in peacekeeping of an integrated approach to peace operations. Italy is the seventh fund contributor with 4.5% of the United Nations budget and contributing to active peacekeeping operation with 320 million US dollars. As one of the major provider of troops, Italy deployed over 1,000 1, troops in six out 16 different United Mission and the present our main effort is, is in uh, Unifil in Lebanon, where Italy is employing an average of 1,000 soldiers since 2006 as the leadership of the mission since January 2012. Italy is not only engaged abroad, but is also providing training, education, and logistic support to United Nations operation uh, on Italian territory, particularly the Center of Excellence for Stability policy units in Vicenza run by our Carabinieri together with the USA and other African and European countries instructors, offers training programs and develops standards and the common operating procedure to be applied during the robust police activity. 20 countries have already sent person to be trained in this center. The United Nations System Staff College in Turin. In Turin also operates the Post-Conflict Operation Study Center a strategic and operation think tank, and the United Nations logistic base in Brindisi, Puglia, is the first permanent logistic base to support peacekeeping operation, uh, and it has been in operation since late 1994. In response to common need to enhance the operational capacities of the United Nations peacekeeping operation, Italy is ready to provide uniform capabilities and strategic and critical uh, enables. In particular, I would like to underline the offer of one highly specialized uh, infantry battalion, one uh, utility helicopters squadron, and one engineering construction company. We are also ready to strengthen our engagement in capacity building in favor of police and military units of member states willing to contribute to United Nations missions. Our focus will be on pre-deployment, training, and other sectors where Italy's expertise is well established. Behind this, uh, there is an emerging dimension I would like to underline. It's about what Italy believes should be done for the protection of cultural heritage in crisis situation, which can provide a substantial contribution to prevention and reconciliation efforts led by the United Nations. I refer to Unit for Heritage. I think this is very important. This initiative aims at establishing a national specialized unit made up for the Carabinieri from the Cultural Heritage Preservation Command plus trying the civilian experts with the task of preserving cultural heritage. The task force activated on UNESCO request would be able to operate in situation of natural disaster or armed conflict with both operational and training tasks to protect cultural heritage and give advice to local government. So I think this is a, a moment very important. Uh, we are confronted with the challenging times. I think for my country, particularly in this moment in the naval operation in the central Mediterranean Sea, which is saving hundreds of thousands of human lives and also contributing in uh, iso isolating and contrasting the violent extremism, we are proud of it because it's very important for our dignity. But in this time, the legitimate expectation coming from the public opinion and from the mostly affected people is that the international community is able to deploy comprehensive and global approach. We have to live up to this expectation. And uh, while ensuring the credibility of the United Nations, 
in maintaining peace and security. Thank you.